What's up everybody, Neo Trainer back again with another video and today we are going to be unboxing the brand new Japanese set Paradigm Trigger, uh, which is set to be the other half of the new English set coming out very shortly, uh, Silver Tempest. Now this set actually just got released in Japan, I think last Friday? Uh, so the fact that I have it over here already is pretty surprising. Uh, now as always, I do have two uh, boxes that we're going to go ahead and get into, uh, but to be honest, when it comes to this set, I really don't know a whole lot about it, uh, other than the unfortunately leaked uh, full art cards that have just been posted all over the place. It was kind of hard to not notice those. Um, but aside from those cards, I really don't know what else is in this set. Um, you know, obviously we do have the Regis, uh, we have Lugia, uh, and then we definitely have Unknowns. So I'm excited to potentially see some of the full art. Uh, uh, sorry, not full art, but the alternate art cards. That we can get out of these boxes which as you know when it comes to these you can really only get one secret rare um now i'm gonna be very honest uh i have seen the lugia alternate art and i'm actually not a big fan of it um i love lugia he's one of my favorite pokemon but that card is not my favorite i'm gonna be honest guys um the card i'm actually looking for out of everything is the alternate art unknown uh, that has been my favorite so far. Um, the Reggie Drago, I'm not, nah, not a big fan of Reggie Drago either. But um, now, obviously, if I get any of the alternate art cards, I will definitely be very excited. Uh, especially Lugia, because even though I don't like the art on that, doesn't mean that that card is not insanely valuable right now in the Japanese market. Guys, I have not been paying attention to the Japanese market at all uh recently but apparently lugia was selling for as much as 800 to 900 dollars uh usd which is absolutely insane uh if you look back at the last video that i did um for the incandescent arcana you saw that i pulled that serena i was thinking ah this is probably a chase card yeah it was definitely a chase card because it ended up being almost 400 500 uh so the japanese market is absolutely insane right now so like i said if i pull an alt art i'm i'm, I'm gonna be happy no matter what but let's go ahead and get into this set. We'll go ahead and start off with the first pack. Um, hopefully, I don't have to get any scissors to open these. We'll see. Because unlike Incandescent Arcana, these are an absolute struggle. Uh, let's see if we can pop this open. All right, I guess we're going for the knife. All right, into our first pack. Maybe the, the rest of the way will be pretty easy because I forgot my scissors. So not sure what the pack trick is. I can't remember. So let's just go ahead and start from the front and see what happens. So here we go. We have a Gloom right off the bat, which is cool looking. Here we go with a Rockruff, a Ranguru or Oranguru. And it looks like we're going to get our first V right off the bat, which is the... V Reggie Drago. Okay. Nothing whole super special about this card. Not really doing it for me, but hey, it's our first pull, first pack. And then right behind that, we have a gum shoes. Okay. So we're starting off. We have something initially. Uh, fortunately, I did remember my sleeves again, unlike the last couple videos. So we'll go ahead and get that Reggie Drago sleeved up first. Uh, let's see if maybe I struggle with the rest of these packs or if I'm going to have to end up dipping to go grab some scissors. Uh, all right, guys, give me just a moment. It looks like I have to go get some scissors. All right. And we're back because Paradigm Trigger decided to embarrass me in this video. So went ahead and let's get this cut up so we can get into the second pack. Let's see here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is it looks like so it is one to the front. So we'll go ahead and just put that up there. Here we go. We have a Candice, a Dratini, a Cobalion. Is that it? Cobalion? Cobalion? I'm thinking Cobalion. We have, there we go. We have a big bird boy. So nothing too great in that second pack. That's okay because we still have quite a bit to go. These booster boxes have 30 packs each. So we're going to have a lot to open and probably a lot of bulk. But the one thing I love about the Japanese sets is that even though you're going to end up with some bulk, it's not massive amounts like you do in the English sets. 
So flip that around. There we go. We have a Sleepy Fire Catboy. We have Spinnerack. We have, oh, um, oh my God. My mind is blanking. Uh, let's just go ahead and go past that <laughs> into a regular hollow Rapidash. Okay, so we actually have Rapidash with a hollow card in this set. That's really cool. Uh, Shanks. It's Shanks. I don't know why I blanked on that. It's Shanks. But getting into the next pack here. Sorry, guys. If I don't have the words in front of me in English, I am going to forget every time uh, what a lot of these names are. Just because when you start doing these videos, you're thinking about so much. I can't, I can't even think about most of the names. But man, look at that. Next card or next pack, we have a really cool looking Raichu. Loving the artwork so far. We have a Shanks. I remember this time. Kind of hard to forget. Uh, we have Tangela. And we are into a Sleepy Stone Journer. So that's interesting. Different form of Stone Journer than we typically see in the, uh, in the artwork. Okay. So still starting off kind of slow. Did not cut that one deep enough, but I think I can get it the rest of the way. There we go. So we get our one to the front. Fortunately, yeah, we're going to be going through 30 packs, but each pack only has, what is that, five cards. So there's not a whole lot that we're going to be looking at. Uh, next up, we have Baltoy. Is that a reprint? That looks very similar to a Bow Toy that we've seen in the past. Maybe I'm just crazy. But right behind that, we have a Pokemon that I can definitely not pronounce. Uh, I don't even attempt to pronounce that line's names because they make no sense to me. So, coming up next. Let's so get our one to the front. We have an Energy. That same line. And, oh, there we go. So we have our first uh, unknown uh, appearance. So we have the unknown V. Uh, I know that there is an unknown V star, which I am hoping we definitely pull. So uh, I'm definitely a big fan of the unknown line. I always think that what they do with the unknown cards, um, they always give them really cool artwork. So I'm excited to see that they are making a comeback big time in this set. All right. So... Getting into our next pack. Go with another to the front. Uh, Galeo. We have, that is definitely a reprint card. That's a fossil. Spinnerack once again. And then we have an Agron. Really cool looking Agron. Okay. Coming up next. I find it very embarrassing that you do have to cut these cards. Nothing makes you feel weaker than not being able to open a pack of Pokemon cards. I don't know what they're doing with these. There is no consistency uh, as to how you can open these up. But we have coming up next. Ooh, there we go. We have a Dragonair. And yep, that's it for that pack. So it looks like a Dragonite line is making a comeback here as well. Let's get into the next pack. There we go with a Keldeo. We have a Skrelp, Aaron, and then Volcarona. Uh, now, I've said it in the past with some of the other sets um, that I think, yeah, I'm just going to really stick to the Japanese set and not go so much the route of the English set. Now, I'm not going to make that promise this time around. But I am thinking I am going to stick to a lot of just um, some of the smaller English products that they're going to have. Uh, just because there's really not a whole lot in Silver Tempest that I've seen so far that I'm really interested in. And being that I'm going to be pulling out mostly everything out of these boxes, I think I'm just going to stick with Japanese in this case. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the fact that uh, I'm getting broke now by <laughs> all these cards. So yeah, I'm thinking it's time to take a little bit of a um, break on, on buying at least the English set and really just sticking with the Japanese, especially since uh, I believe the rumors are that you have the V-Star Universe set that's coming out very soon that's going to have a lot of really cool alternate art uh, V-Stars uh, and alternate art cards in general. So I think um, separate from the English set, I'm going to go ahead and save up for that coming up next. Um, but 
I would love to know in the comments below, do you guys plan on getting any of the Japanese sets that are coming out? Are they going to be making up Silver Tempest or are you going to be strictly sticking with Silver Tempest? Uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. But here we go with another regular hollow. So we're getting a lot of hollows out of these so far. Been very lucky to not pull the Secret Rare as one of the absolute first cards as uh, has happened to me in the past. So hopefully we can keep that run until a little bit later on in the video. Here we go with a Verizon Wireless. We have Litleo, Rangaroo, and then we have a Lance. Coming up next. Nope, because I didn't cut it deep enough. Let's try that again. Just have to be so careful not to cut the cards. Here we go. The Perserker, Baltoy, Tangela with a little berry. To Denny. And whoo, okay. So there we go. We have, unfortunately, our first secret rare, which is a full art uh, dreadnought. Or, I'm sorry, not Dreadnought, Chestnut. Not sure why that came out. Um, yeah, just another one of those Pokemon that I am not a fan of. He is just so strange looking. And he's really hard to read on this card. I don't know what's going on with uh, this card. But that's our first real big hit of the video today. So we'll go ahead and get him sleeved up. But fortunately, we should still be looking for some V-Stars uh, coming up. So I'm really excited to see what our first V-Star card is going to be looking at or looking like. So the next card to the front, there we go with a Lycan Rock. We have another Fossil, Skrelp, and right behind that we have a Worker. Continuing on, we have Relicanth, Verizon, Verizian, Minotite, and a Frostlass. Being ever so careful. Come on. Ooh, this one does not want to open for me, everybody. Let's see here. There we go. Go with another Litleo. Dedeni once again. Oh, and there we go. So Lugia making his first appearance in this video. We have the Lugia V. You know, I actually like the V more than I like the alternate art. So, yeah. But I'm happy to finally see it. I'm happy to see Lugia making a comeback in the cards as well. So we'll go ahead and get him sleeved up. But yeah, that's a really, really cool looking card. Can't wait to see what the V-Star looks like in person. Uh, so hopefully we'll be pulling one of those very shortly. I think if we don't pull one out of the, um, at least one of the V-Stars that we're looking for out of this box... We still have a whole nother box that we have a chance for. So here we go with our next cards. There we go. Oh, look at that Pikachu. Whoa, that's really cool. So we have Pikachu, Togo Tomorrow, and Dedenne all in one card. So we got all the electric mouses. Okay, that's cool. And we have with, looks like a baby Galarian Meowth. We have a Shaman. And a bit of a dud there for ending card. up whatever that is okay <laughs> we have another pikachu panchamp togatamaru and then terrakian so it looks like we're going to be getting all the hollows out of this opening Still hoping for at least maybe one more V. Uh, and then start seeing some of the V stars. Because I, if I recall, I think since this is a mainline set, we should be getting at least four Vs uh, and two V stars. We have a Candice, Sigiglyph, Victini, Dratini once again. Uh, okay, so 
Same ending card. Next up, Dratini once again. Ooh, I think that's the first time we saw the Ponyta. We have uh, more Petco. Oh, and there we go with another V. So we have the Regieleki V. So we've gotten both the Regidrago and the Regieleki. Okay. Go ahead and get that one sleeved up. So I think that's it for all of the Vs that we should be getting out of this box. I'm not really sure if there are any other Vs to get. Uh, those may have been the only four. But we'll see since we still have a whole nother box. There we go. And we bat. Bit of a dud pack there. Ooh, I thought I cut one, that one too deep. I think I lucked out. Here we go with the Dragon Air. Ponyta once again. Noibat. Ooh, okay, look at that. So we have our first V-Star. It is the V-Star Unknown. That's ah, really cool looking. And I think... Yeah, so if you look at this, we have an Unknown V, Unknown S, Unknown T, a and R, so it even actually spells out the V-Star on the card. That's really cool. Okay, that's exciting. So first V-Star, let's see if we still get another one out of this box. Hopefully that will be the case, but we're looking at getting down to our last, what is that, four. So we're down to our last eight packs of this box, but then we still have a whole another box to open. Uh, something that we're going to be doing after this box as well, and something I didn't even know about, is that apparently these booster boxes also came with single promo cards. Uh, and the company that I bought these from were kind enough to go ahead and make sure that they included those uh, promo cards along with these boxes. So we'll go ahead and open up. Oh, look at that. Another V-Star, Reggie Drago. Um, so we got two V-Stars. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and make sure to open up um, one of the promos. After we finish this box, and then we'll open up the last promo uh, as we finish the next box. So, yeah, there we go. We have both V-Stars. Um, I still believe there is the Lugia, and I'm not sure what else got a V-Star in the set, but hopefully we can get everything all in one go, because I do not want to buy any singles, especially with like what I was saying with the Japanese market right now. Everything is extremely expensive. Granted, that's probably just more just for the full arts and um, the alternate arts, but I don't want to have to buy any singles if I don't have to. But there we go. Starting off with a tan growth. We have Rufflet, Metadite, and then um, I pardon. Next pack. Oh, it looks like we just got right into it. So there we go with Galarian Meowth. Snow Runt, we have whatever that is. Okay, so it's a V-Star Trainer card? I don't know, I've never seen anything like that before. That's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and set that off. And Zeraora. Hmm, you have to do a little bit of research on that one. Cause it's, it's a trainer card, so it's an but it reads V-Star on it, so it must be something that you tack on to a V-Star Pokemon. Okay. Getting into the next pack. We have Blossom, Oddish, we have Zygarde, oh, Stunfisk. Cannot stand Stunfisk. If you guys play Pokemon Go and you battle, you'll know what I mean. Stunfisk is just for some reason an overly powered tank Pokemon, and I just cannot stand fighting him in Pokemon Go. Uh, but then right behind that, we have another non hollow rare. Here we go down to the last four packs of this box. One to the front. We have Noivern. We have more Pico once again, Spinarak, and then we have a Clay Doll. 
So we're still seeing some new cards. Um, we've opened up a lot, but we're, I'm still finding some things in here that we haven't even seen yet. So it seems like this is going to be a really big set. Well, there's a lot to get. Uh, next up. There we go. We have Tangela once more. Ooh. So we have a Dragonite Hollow. So I should have assumed we were going to see a Dragonite, being that we have Dratini and Dragonair. It's a really cool looking card, but I feel like uh, Dragonite has been getting a lot recently, especially with the Pokemon Go set, because he was all over that. He even got his own collection box, so uh, that we open up, that we even open up a couple videos ago. But here we are into the second to last pack. I don't know if we can really hope for any last pack magic in this case, but we'll see what happens as we pull up a Raichu. We have Zygarde once again, Rockruff, and a Tauros. Last pack here. Let's see. I already know that we have a fossil, but we have a Keldeo, Fossil, Litleo, just with hair on end, too. I don't know what's going on there. We have a Panchamp in the tree. Oh, okay. So we have a fifth V, and it's the uh, Hisuian... Um, Arcanine. That's really cool. I didn't know this was in here. Okay. So I will definitely take that. Especially because um, even though Hisuian Arcanine has been getting a lot of just regular hollows in the last couple sets, or a lot of cards, he's not gotten a V. So this is a Pokemon I really love to see like a V uh, star come out for. Because I feel V star would be really great looking for Hisuian Arcanine. So that was the last pack of this box. So in the end, we are looking at... What does that come out to? I think, yeah, five Vs. So we got Regilecki, Lugia, uh, Unknown, Arcanine, and then we have Regidrago. We ended up pulling two V-Stars back to back. So V-Star, Regidrago, V-Star, Unknown. And we have our Secret Rare, which is Chestnut. I have to say I'm a little disappointed with that one. And then we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven regular hollow rares. So I'd say pretty good overall. But it doesn't mean that we're done yet. We're going to go ahead and toss this box off to the side. And we're going to pull out our first of the promos. So we have two right here. I think uh, I'll set this one off to the side and we'll start with this one. See if it makes me use the scissors. I'm not, you know what? Nope, I'm not even going to attempt it. Let's just go ahead and just pull them out. And I don't even know what promo cards are available in this. We're... Okay, so we have the back here. And let's just go ahead and flip it. Oh, okay. So we have a reverse Shaman promo. Meh. <laughs> Nothing to write home about, but something cool to see. Okay. It even has, um, I'm assuming, the Paradigm Trigger stamp right there. So um yeah that's the first of the promos but we have another one we'll see what comes out of that as i go ahead and rip into the second box all right if it doesn't want to fight with me first all right so, pull that, uh, push that up to the top, take the first pack, and pray that it is not the secret rare right off the bat. Getting our first card to the front. There we have, I think, only our second time seeing Stone Journer. We have Baltoy, Tangela, the Denny, and we have an energy card. Next pack. Here we go with Lance. We have Relicanth, Verizian, Metatite, and we have a V-Star once again. So this time we have the V-Star Regidrago. So I have to say that is a little concerning because it is a repeat card. I, I know there is more than just Regidrago and uh, Unknowns. 
So I'm really hoping that we can manage to get the Lugia uh, out of this because I know there for a fact there is a uh, Lugia V-Star card. So we'll go ahead and set that up there for right now. And really hope for the best. Actually, we'll go ahead and bring that back down here. Nope. I thought I'd go ahead and try. If I really believe, maybe the pack would let me open it. But nope, I got to use the scissors still. So getting the next card to the front. We have a Gumshoes, Litleo, Rufflet, Dedenny, and a Luxray. Third pack of the box. Here we go. Ooh, not a lot great here. Skrelp, and then we actually have the VMAX Regieleki. Okay, so you know there was any VMAXs in the set. Cool, okay, I'll take it. So something new. Looks like this uh, set is still gonna surprise me with some new stuff. So go ahead and get that sleeved up. So more of the Regis. Again, I'm not a big fan of those either. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I think uh, we could have left it the original Reggie's. We didn't need to <laughs> bring in Reggie Alecki or Reggie Drago. But, you know, everybody has their, their things that they like. Uh, moving forward, we have Pikachu, Pancham, Togedemaru. Oh, and then we have another V. So we have a V Chestnut. Okay. So we're still pulling Vs. Looks like we still have quite a few to get out of this set. Okay. Next up, go ahead and get that to the front. We have Volcarona, Pikachu, Meowth, Shaman, and then Dragonair. Honestly surprised that we've able to pull as much as we have already because was it the last box we had? The Reggie Drago immediately, and there was nothing but regular hollows. So the pack that we pulled, a V, a V Star, and a V Max, all pretty much back to back, is pretty cool for this box. Uh, here we go: Sigilyph, Dratini, Dratini, then a regular hollow. Next pack. We have Dratini once again, Ponyta, more Peko, and Candice, which I think, I mean, I would assume being that they have um, the trainer cards that they have in here, we should expect to see a full art for each of those as well. So, should be seeing a Candice. We have a Claydol, Ponyta once again, Noibat. And a Tauros. I think once this is done, I'm going to have to definitely uh, go online and take a look at some of the other cards and see what they got in the set. Because like I said at the beginning, I've really only focused on the alternate arts. And it was really hard to miss them because they were just posted everywhere. So, uh, but getting into this, we have Zara Aura. We have, again, Noibat. And then we have um, Dragonite again. But I would uh, definitely like to see some of the other cards they're in the set and see the artworks. Um, but I really believe after this, uh, except for the, some of the smaller English products, I'm not going to be going into Silver Tempest. I'm really just going to be sticking with um, Incandescent Arcan Arcana, which I'm not going to be buying any more of. Uh, Paradigm Trigger, I'm going to leave it at these two boxes just because I just don't feel after opening these unless I'm really, really wanting to try and go after a chase card. We, we can leave it at this and not go into this set more uh much more really just try and save up for the v-star universe that's coming out and spend all, all my money on that one <laughs> next up here we go with luxio rufflet meditite ariados okay so that's a new hollow card that we didn't pull the last time I'm really surprised with some of the Pokemon that they're giving hollows for. I would not have expected uh, these ones to get their own hollow cards. 
So it's pretty cool. Okay. Here we go with Tang Growth. We have more Peko, Spinarak, Terrakian again. So starting to get some of the repeat hollows. Next up we have Keldeo. We have Tangela and the Noivern. Actually getting through this box a little bit quicker than we did with the first one. Do that first. We have Zygarde once again, Rock Rough, and then we have another V Unknown. So, what is that? Our second V of this box. Uh, now, if the first box is any indication, so we should be looking at at least three more of those. Um, so, we'll see what happens there. Next pack. Go with Meowth once again, Snow Runt, and then we have Blossom. So, really, even though we're pulling hollows, it doesn't seem like we're pulling near as many hollows as we did with that first box because we're only looking at what, four so far? Whereas the other one we had pulled seven like almost instantly. So. Getting into this one, we have another Fossil, Litleo, Panchamp. Uh, I feel like a sad pack. <laughs> From there. We have some kind of weird jungle scene going on. I don't know what's going on there. We have Gloom just looks like falling out of a tree. I don't think I've ever seen Gloom's eyes before. Uh, we have Baltoy, and then we have another Stonejourner. Should, we're really getting down in these packs, so we should be seeing our second V-Star and hopefully our secret rare card very shortly. We're not getting any trainer gallery cards or character rare cards, as I'm sure you have noticed already, just because that's more reserved for the specialty sets which is the main line, so we shouldn't expect, we're not gonna be seeing any of those at all, in all honesty. But we have Stunfisk, and then right behind that, a regular Hollow Rapidash, which I think, again, it's really interesting some of the Pokemon that they gave uh, Hollows to, because I don't think, you know, like Ariados and Rapidash are Pokemon that normally get Hollow cards. So. Next up. We have another jungle looking scene. Gloom falling once again. Rock Rough, Orangaroo, and then we have another V Lugia. Okay, I'll take it. So I think that puts us down to two more Vs that should be left. Let's actually count how many that we have left in here. So we have four on this side. So 10 packs overall out of the 30 from this box. Okay, so two thirds of the way, we still have quite a bit to pull. And into this, we have a Shinx, Tangela, we have Lycanroc, okay. Next up, Go with another Energy, Stunfisk, Ponyta, and then we have a Sleepy Fire Catboy. Seems like they got a lot of Sleepy Pokemon in this set. Next up we have Dragonair, Relicanth, Aaron, and then we have another V, Hisuian Harkonine. I'll definitely take that. So we should be looking at just one V left. We should still be finding one V star, which I'm really hoping at this point ends up being the Lugia. And then we have a secret rare that we have yet to pull. 
So they really put it in there somewhere instead of right at the top like some of my previous boxes. So getting into this one next, we have a clay doll, rufflet, oddish, shinx, and we have another one of these things. This really weird hollow V-Star card. I, I really got to research and figure out what that is. All right, guys, so we're coming down to our last, what is that, five packs. Okay, so let's really get into this. Uh, now, while I go ahead and open up to this, uh, this pack, I do want to thank you all who have made it so far in this video. I always definitely appreciate you guys who stick around and watch this far. Uh, I really just do this for fun more than anything. I just love opening up Pokemon cards and sharing what I get with you all. So if you watch these videos, I really appreciate it. Um, I do all, obviously, all that YouTube stuff. Subscribe, like, comment below. Uh, definitely share my videos uh, if you enjoy them. But um, as I tell everybody in every single video, I do have an Instagram page over at Neo underscore trainer as well. I'll definitely leave the link in the description. But definitely check me out over there as well because I'm going to be posting pictures of a lot of these cards. I love posting uh, my collection on there and opening single pack videos as well. So if you like some uh, smaller digestible content, I definitely got a lot over on Instagram. So I definitely appreciate the follow over there as well. But getting into our last four... Let's see, we should be pulling out something good out of these last couple packs. Uh, so we have Candace, Pikachu, Shaman, Scrope, we have Agron, okay. Down to the last three, we gotta get a V-Star, and we're looking for that secret rare. So... Taking in a deep breath. We have, again, whatever that is. We have Baltoy right behind that. Ooh, okay. I will take that as a secret rare. So we have a full art Azuya and Arcanine. That is awesome. Okay. So didn't luck out with any alt arts, but I will definitely take a full art of Arcanine because Arcanine is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, whether it's Hazuian or the regular. Let's go ahead and get him sleeved up. All right, guys. So out of everything, we should only have, oh, okay, it's actually wrong. We have three more packs to go. We should still have one more V-Star, everything else. Um, that should really be a, out, about it out of the rest of this box. So, Getting that, we have a Lipard, again a Fossil, Spinarak, and nothing. So it's down to the final two. See if we can get some last pack magic. And if they can give me the last pack magic starting with the second to last pack, I will definitely take that as well. But let's see here. We have a Perserker, Scrope. Aaron, we have another V, uh, so we have, a, oh, okay, so we were missing our last V, so we have a V, Regidrago. So, keeping fingers crossed, that means this last pack is going to be a V-Star, and I'm really, really hoping, guys, it is the V-Star Lugia, because I don't want to have to buy a single, <laughs> so I don't want to have to open up any more of these boxes, so let's get that cut open. That, slap that off to the side, open this one up, and let's see what we're ending this on. So, we have Raichu, Snow Runt, we have Cobalion, Cobalion, and then right behind that, are we going to get our last V-Star? No, so we have a Bell Awesome, so we only ended up with one V-Star out of this entire box. We got, what is that, one two, three, four, five Vs. We have one full art, one V-Star, one V-Max. So I'm assuming that the Regieleki V-Max took the place um, of the second V-Star in this case, which definitely disappointing. Uh, so it looks like I will end up having to get that Lugia uh, V-Star from secondhand market. 
but overall, a lot of really cool cards that we ended up pulling today, especially that Hisuian Arcanine. That is something that I'm really happy to have in my collection. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and clean these up real quick. And we're going to get into the very last pack. Again, as I said earlier, do all the you typical YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, follow, uh, but definitely follow me over on Instagram. But uh, yeah, so let's take a look and see what we get out of this last promo pack, what we have here. So again, I have no idea what these promos are. Um, so this is going to be a big surprise to me either way. Uh, if anything, it looks like we're just really getting reverses. But we're going to go ahead and end this video on... Whoa! Okay, so <laughs> we have a promo version of the Lugia V, which looks a lot just like the Lugia V that we pulled twice already. But we have the stamp right there off to the side. So, you know what? I'll take it. I'll end the video on that. But guys, again, thank you so much for everything and watching up to the end. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!